The luxuries of van life. She ends up living in a parking lot. I'm driving up north on the trans kind of highway. The night is sweet, a thousand stars. What's up guys, welcome back to Casey Smith Creative. Last time we saw you guys, we were in Charleston, South Carolina. We have since made it to the Outer Banks. And tonight, all we have to do is go get some ice cream from Surf and Spoon, so let's get it. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I look like a homeless person. Ready for this? Homeless? Cool. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful day here in the Outer Banks. It's a little bit chilly, which honestly feels really good after being in the heat in Charleston and Raleigh. So we're going to go enjoy the weather. We're going to go for a little walk on the beach, and then we're going to come back and show you guys what's in our camera bag. You want to go? Ready? You want to go outside? Want to go for a walkies on the beach? It's time to go through our camera bag. It's the reason you're watching this video. You want to know what kind of gear we use. First off, a camera that never ends up in this bag, and it's the camera I'm looking at right now. It is a Sony A6000. I got it when I was in college, mainly for some video projects and as a travel camera. And currently on the camera is the 16mm 2.8 pancake lens. And if not that lens, we use the 35mm 1.8 which on a crop sensor acts as a 50-ish millimeter. So both of these lenses are great. I really love this lens just as a travel lens to shoot photos on that camera. It's really light, compact, easy. I have a carabiner on the side of it and I usually just clip that camera to my belt loop. So I take it pretty much everywhere with me. It's really easy to travel with and I'm a big fan of it. Other than that camera, we fit everything into this bag. Um, we don't have a lot of space obviously because we live in a van so we're very uh, simplified in our camera gear. So this case is a Tenba Rodi Air Case roller. So it has wheels, but it's small enough to fit in the overhead compartment of an airplane. So when we travel, we don't have to check our luggage, which is really nice because nobody wants to send all their camera gear under a plane and have some random dude searching it because you know they will. First off, our primary camera. It is a Contax 645 medium format film camera. Now, this lens is the Carl Zeiss 80mm f2.0. It doesn't go on any other cameras that we have. It stays on here. It never comes off. I don't even know what the inside of this thing looks like. That's what it looks like. <laughs> now, this camera shoots medium format film, unlike any other cameras that we have, but we primarily shoot all of our portrait sessions and weddings on this camera. But when we're not using this camera, we're most likely using the Canon EOS 1V. Now this is a 35 millimeter film camera, more traditional style of film that most people over the age of 25 have some experience with. Maybe your parents shot photos of you as a kid on 35 millimeter. Now primarily on this camera, we use the Canon 50mm 1.2 L series lens. This is an unbelievable lens and we love shooting with it. Now, if we're not shooting film, we're usually shooting digital backup. And when we're shooting that, we're also using either this 50mm, the 70 to 200 
or we also have the 50 millimeter 1.4. Now for the money, this is a great lens. It's still really fast at 1.4. I highly suggest it if you're getting into photography. Now, when we're shooting digital backup, we use a Canon EOS 5D Mark II, as well as a Canon EOS 5D Mark III. Now these are both very similar cameras. They're full frame. Um, they have very simple features. They're easy to use. They take great photos. So we really enjoy using those cameras. As for some accessories, when we shoot film, we use a light meter. This is the light meter that we use. Basically all it does is it tells you what shutter speed to use. So you go up, press the button, tells you what shutter to use depending on the light situation. Another film accessory that we use is an extra film back. So this is primarily my job on a wedding day. I will have an extra film back with a fresh roll of film so that when Casey finishes a roll, I have a roll ready so our clients aren't sitting around waiting. Very simple job, but very important to keep the wedding day flowing. Underneath our 7200, we have a weatherproof wrap for the Timbo bag. We have a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Now when I got this, it was a pretty big deal to be able to shoot 1080p at 120 frames a second. Now it's sort of irrelevant. And personally, I think wide angle looks pretty bad and GoPro audio is terrible. So you'll rarely see us using this. Now we also have a couple of SD card holders that we can travel with. It's really nice to keep everything secure, especially when you're dealing with important things on your SD cards. As for flashes, we really only use these during wedding receptions when it's dark. Casey will use the 580 and I will use the 430. Both really good flashes. They get the job done. Now, one reason you won't see us using our GoPro all that much this summer is because we recently got a Sea Frogs water housing for that Sony camera. Honestly, I never thought I would have a water housing because I didn't think, I always thought I would love to get into water photography, but it's just too much of a cost to buy a housing for a nice camera. This thing was 300 and I think $20 and it is legit. It has a pistol grip, half press to focus, full press to take the photo. And it also has a shutter up here and it's a uh, full control over the entire camera. Very impressive. Last but not least, we have a DJI Mavic Pro 2. It is currently not being used because I ran into a power line with it and broke all four propellers. And I've already broke some propellers prior to that, so I'm out of propellers. So I have more on the way from DJI. Um, very user-friendly, massive sensor. It's incredible to be able to take this nice of a camera up in the air and shoot photos and videos. It's really sweet. And that is it for all the camera gear that we have in this Timba camera bag and some few things that we use in and around the van. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll see you on the next one. And don't forget to check the link below for all of the items that we talked about today. Yes. Good job. Great job. We also have a blog post. The link's in the description. See you later this week. Remember in our last video when Zach said, I wish I had avocado on my sandwich? Well, I just found avocados in our fridge. They've got to be from like two weeks ago. I did not know we had them. So I was thinking, yeah, they're going to be all black and disgusting. Look at this avocado I just opened. I mean, it's at least, I say three weeks. Three weeks. It long. must have been so under when we got it. It is perfect. perfect. I'm so excited.